hello. This time I thought I would try to explain how to create a spiral garland with six colours, a six colour rainbow, but using only clusters of four balloons. It's actually quite simple when you get into it, but the sequence of colours is quite complex. Um, but before I start into all of that, I'll explain that uh, I'm building it on our table arch kit, which is really nice and sturdy and, and very strong. Um, so it, it makes it a, a, a good, strong thing for use either indoors or outdoors. And it consists of two strong metal clips that um, have a, a screw vice attachment to go onto the table and strong metal tubes coming up from those and then a set of five um, fiberglass poles that link together to form the arch itself. These are linked together with an elastic through the centre so that they're, they're easy to handle. Um, you could, if necessary, if you wanted to make it shorter, you could remove the elastic, but quite honestly it's better if you leave it as it is. Um, you can then obviously build your arch with the uh, pole straight and then just clip the two ends in but if you're going to do that I'd suggest that you take the joints before you start adding the balloons to prevent them coming apart if you put a little bit too much tension on and that's what we've done here there's a little bit of clear tape over each of the joints to stop them slipping apart and then once you've got that you can begin now we need to have a sequence of 12 different combination, colour combinations across the, uh, across the pattern. So it repeats every 12 clusters. Um, and to make it a little bit easier, we produced a chart here that shows how they go. So cluster number one like this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And then down this side, it shows them lined up so that you can work out where they're all going to go. It does sound as if it's a little um, overcomplicated, but believe me, once you've got past about cluster four, you can see the way it works, and then it becomes quite simple. So I've built two complete sequences here. There's the first one finishes there, that's cluster number 12, and then we'll start again with number one, just to, uh, so you can see clearly how it goes. And basically, what you want to do is to just keep your eye on the pattern, because what will happen is that you will see a what looks like a spiral pattern from the front that's also visible at the back but on the inside and the outside of the arches you have chevrons so it actually doesn't matter where you view the arch from it still looks really good um, and so in order to keep your eye on the pattern you can see how it works now so we've got a red one here that means we need a red one either side of that and next to the red a the orange and the two oranges there. So that will sit on there like so. Cluster number two has one orange, two reds and a purple because we're introducing a new colour. Every time you introduce a new colour, keep it on the inside of the arch and then it should be fine. So in this case, we put it there, purple on the inside, red at the front and the back, orange on the top like so next one purple here two purples there to go either side of it next one new color blue so blue on the inside purples to either side red on the top next one two purples either side of that, sorry, two, that's better. Purple front and back, new colour on the inside, red on the outside. The next ones go two blues. And then the next one is another new colour, which in this case is green. So we have the green on the inside, blue to front and back. Purple to the top and so on. You just keep repeating and repeating. When you get to the end, it'll finish about here. Just keep repeating the pattern until you've finished the arch.
So I'm just concentrating all the time on where the colours sit. And then, as I say, it's quite logical and simple once you've uh, got your head around the positioning of the colours. That was cluster number 12, this is number 1, starting again. There it is, finished. This chart will be uploaded to the Decorator Hub. Just go to amscan.co.uk. Across the top of the page, you will see a row of tabs. Click on Decorator Hub, and you'll find this in the Charts and Tables section.